Hello and welcome to Nashville Super Speedway. I'm very happy to be here as this is a fantastic track. And we are in the Xfinity car. Be open today. Um, feeling okay. Okay. The setup seems alright. It's got some good rotation, it feels like. It's just the OSR setup. So nothing too crazy, but. Um, been enjoying uh, driving it in practice so far. I don't have quite the top end speed, I don't think, as some of the fastest guys, but when do I anyway? So, <laughs> uh, I've actually got a decent field here, it looks like. I'm racing at a human time for once, so we've, uh... Hold on just a second, gotta focus. Uh, decent human hours <laughs> right now, so we've actually got some uh, good participation. Hey, right, that's an okay first lap. Let's see if we can gain on anything here. I don't like my positioning. Turns one and two there. That was not as fast as it could have been. Didn't bother adding tape or anything. No, I got loose. So that's as good as it's gonna get. Oh well. So 30.633 is where we are. A couple tenths off the fastest guys, but the worst. I said missing some of the get up and go speed, but I think uh, should be okay. P5 for now, although we are still waiting on a number of very fast guys to qualify, so we'll probably drop a number more. Just the top 10 here would be very nice as the number 6. That's the number 6 as a. What is my. What's my I rating now? 46. About 4,700? Is that where it is? I don't remember. I think it's like 4,694 or something, something like that. But, uh, we are gonna go ahead and do one more little play around lap. And then I'm gonna try to practice a green flag pit stop, because it's a little tricky here. Just a little tricky. I think uh, I've got it somewhat down, you know, reliably able to get in to the pits, but always want to make completely sure. Look out for the pit space. All right, that'll do. I'm okay with that. Man, down to P9 now. Yeah, I had a feeling we had a bunch of fast guys still ready to go, and I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Because, like I said, missing some initial speed, maybe. But I think that's kind of just me driving. Especially because uh, that wasn't quite my best. My best is a 550, which would have put me a couple spots higher, but not too many. And then we got guys like uh, Parker in here, Derek Justice. So guys that are, you know, going to be tough to keep up with. 97, 96 after the first couple laps. Interesting. So the tire wear is going pretty quick. And according to this, the right rear is going first. But that could uh, switch over with more laps. So I'm not sure. Like not a couple more people. Got a big field of 27. That's fun. And I'm hoping that it will be a lot of green flag racing because that's how uh, Nashville Super Speedway usually is, part of why it's such a great track. And uh, that was unfortunately to Gavin's detriment without spoiling his video. Um, he needed caution, did not get caution. <laughs> not uh, when he needed it. So hopefully uh, we don't end up in a similar situation to that. 
Down to P11. That's the end of the session. P11. That's where we're going to be. All right. Could have been worse. I'm not going to try to do anything too crazy anyway. I'm going to try to keep it steady. I mean, if I'm less than a tenth off Derek Justice, I can't feel too bad, right? It's the number one car for a reason. So, all right. Ready to go here. We will have session last lap up. I'm going to try to use my brake bias, which I have pretty far back, to get this thing turning on entry, rather than turning the wheel. Hoping that will get the job done and save tires a little bit better. Oh, excuse me, you guys. Huh. Just finished watching um, Nick's upload of his NIS race here. We'll probably watch Gavin's perspective soon enough, but I haven't gotten to that yet. That was a fun one to watch. They had actually a, uh, they actually had some cautions in that one, but I think that's because the next gen is just so crazy to drive. All right. I guess, does anyone even call it the next gen anymore? It's the cup car. <laughs> it's the now gen. But it looked like there was people self spinning a lot. Not sure we'll see that out of this one. This race, but you never know. 90 laps, plenty of time for it to happen. We don't have enough data for that. We'll have to uh, get ourselves some fuel at some point. Whether that's under caution or green flag conditions remains to be seen. You have three. And we're ready to go, alright. Three sets of tires. Split it in about 30 lap segments is the uh, optimal, I guess. Track temp is 114. Track temp 114, that's a... Laps. That's a hot to touch track right there. To follow car number zero eight in the inside column. This car's set up for about 110 degree track temps. Good luck, everyone. According to OSR. One left to green. You'll be lining up on the inside. Pit road is closed. Gonna adjust the volume a little bit. Just a little bit loud. That should be good. We don't have that data. All right. Just making sure it's not uh, messing with the audio too much. I'm going to do second gear start. We might be able to get it launched with first gear, I'm not sure, but I'm just not going to mess with it because we got plenty of people in front of us anyway. Don't need to be uh, going too crazy off the start anyway. Anyway, anyway, anyway. But 90 lap event here coming up. Excited. Hopefully it'll be a good one. Oh shoot, I thought they were going. I swear it's an optical illusion, right? <laughs> I swear I saw the leader go, and then I swear I saw the guy in front of me go too. There, just making sure. Spotter's a little bit iffy on the, on the initial starts a lot of the time. Uh oh, got something going up, going up there. Just gotta go. Gotta keeping me behind him right now. Breaks a little bit early there by accident. I'm really stuck behind this 15. Got sideways there. All right, this 15 needs to get out of the way. He's way slow. <laughs> Maybe I'm just going too fast. I don't know, but he's like parking it mid corner, and it's really messing with me here. Clear. 
Car inside. Still there at the bottom. Clear inside. I really wish I was not side by side with guys for the most part right now, but finally kind of getting it single file. Swerving, man. Say this guy here. Hmm. It's the runoff, though. Guys, we're checking out. It's a 15 parking at mid corner again. Are you proud of yourself for that? Ugh. That was dangerous, what that guy just did. The roof temperature looks quite high. He runs into the 15 that time. Got the car outside. Stay low. Still there, hold your own. Outside, clear. The car outside. Man, very tough to pass, I guess. Sorry, 22. I, I got loose. That was all my fault. I'm trying to get on the right rear, especially at turn four. It really gets on the right rear, so I'm trying to kind of ride that line. You've just done it. The 12.4. Things have uh, finally kind of settled down a little bit, less side by side, more single file for now. Your lap time was 31.3. 15. It's like they were drifting up toward the wall. Stuff happened in front of us. Still green so far, but there has been some interesting movement. 16 going for the pass on the 15. Will he be able to get it done? He's making his way. Looks like he almost turned into us. Outside, clear. I'll leave the door open for him. I want to slam it in his face. He's giving us zero room. Man, I'm glad to be past him. <laughs> wasn't exactly too happy with what I was seeing from there. He wasn't doing anything wrong. It was just some dangerous things I was seeing from his driving style had me worried, like, uh... Probably he was kind of slow mid-corner and he wasn't giving much room. Right, front overdrives there, we're gonna try to take advantage. That looks like we will. Nice. Oh wow, really? In the top 10, nice. That's all I really want from this race, so... If we can pull that off, I'm very happy. Always had a lot of fun at this track. Of course, I got that... posted race win of Gavin's. That was probably one of my... favorite experiences ever. That's probably my favorite accomplishment on that racing, to be honest. 
that one was awesome. Um, Twin Ring was good too, but I didn't really have the chance to race anyone too much in that one. At Nashville Super Speedway, when I did that race, that was a lot of fun. So, lots of uh, good memories at this track already, even uh, even though it's one of the newer tracks on iRacing, uh, relatively. So we've got uh, ourselves a nice top 10 run here for now. I'm going to try to take a wider entry there, try to get a good run off, but it just didn't quite run mm -hmm. as much as I wanted there. I think that probably wasn't the right approach. Almost feels a little bogged down in the corners. I wish I had experimented with shifting. <laughs> Probably almost definitely not a good idea. But anytime the needle starts going that low, I start wondering, you know. I like shifting too much. <laughs> I do it at checks when you're not supposed to. Always gotta worry about that uh, turn four exit, it can really sneak up on you. So I might pit a little bit early, um, not only for the undercut, but because I feel like I used up a lot of tire early here, racing side by side, so um, my true optimal time might be a little bit earlier, since I assume the second half of the race I won't have to race as much side by side if this goes green. That's the assumption, anyway, but who knows for sure. I feel like I'm falling off. Don't like that. I feel like I've been okay to the tires. I'm using a decent amount of brake and keeping it low. I feel like I'm doing okay, but maybe I'm just uh, not hitting my marks quite right. It's a better lap there. Up tenth faster. I don't know. Are we catching this nine? Colton, that's good consistency. Keep it up. Look, I'm being caught by the 16. I think we're not catching the 9. It looks like they're actually getting farther away. Why am I falling off? I thought I was being good. Maybe I am. Maybe, uh... This thing will get better as time goes on. And it's just a little early. Okay. Don't, don't caution. I would really love a caution for your ace. No dang it's, please. Oh, the 21 making a move. They might be up heading our way. The gap in front is now 1.6. That lap was at 31.9. Do not like how I took turn one there. One, two. Thank you. Getting the problem. That 20 might, 21 might be coming. The lap time was at 
Yeah, I'm not feeling as consistent as, as I would like to be. Yeah, hit my marks a little bit better. I don't like how much variance there is in my uh, session last lap. That time I got too close to the wall. I had to turn the wheel a little bit too much to keep it out of it. time I didn't even hit the bottom. Hmm, yeah, just lacking some consistency. I have to let this 21 by. They're clearly faster. The lap time was 32.1. Overdrove it there, though. That scares me a little bit, because if they're overdriving and missing their mark, well, what happens if I'm in front of them when they overdrive? I think we know what happens. Suddenly I become his brakes. Let's hope we don't find ourselves in that situation. End up hitting around lap 40, probably, if this thing goes green. It's pretty spread out right now. Except for those three cars up there. And I guess we got a little bit of our own line behind me. I'm just not consistent. It's bothering me. Okay, might be catching the nine now, though. I was I thought we might have been earlier, but now we actually might be for real. So if we lose the top ten to the twenty-one, we might get it back. If we pass the thirteen, that'd be kind of neat. Of course, if I get passed by this 21, we might end up freight drained. It doesn't really try to pass yet. I don't know if he's just uh, content, or if he just hasn't had the run necessary yet. He's going to dive it in now, apparently. Car inside. Still there, hold your line. Still there. Cup times are pretty consistent. I have to just fall in here. You're supposed to pass me. You can't fall in if you don't. Clear me. Hmm, the car's not turning. Up here. Still there. Just gonna concede so no one's more time or spaces. Not thrilled to be behind 15 again, but they uh, they earned it, I guess. So who am I to talk? back on the desk. Bad habit of just yanking on it and pulling it off. 
slaving it off the desk. Suddenly I'm like racing at an angle and I don't even realize it. Approaching the pit window here, or well, you know, we're in the pit window, but when I actually decide I want to pit. Hit the apron there, run my whole corner. V12, you've just done 32.4. Man, I feel all over the place. I am not happy with my driving right now. I feel like uh, I could be doing better. So, probably uh, lap 40. I think I'm sticking with that plan. Really pitched it on entry there, but it's kind of good. Yeah, until I got loose. Still better than last lap, though. That was a uh, 32.3. Got like a pretty good corner. Mm, getting loose on exit. Not a fan. It's like I'm just. <sighs> it's not handling it right. I definitely just feel like it's my fault. About to fall back some more spots though. Hmm. Okay. Tried a little something different there, and but it just kind of evened out. Maybe I need to take a wider entry. I think that might be my problem. That guy was going to be able to take a run on me, but did not go for it. Yeah, I wish I wish it stuck a little bit better in that middle lane. So I could get a better run off. got more grip on exit I think and it's helping him catch up to me nearly tapping me from behind okay we are in a pit time I'm gonna give it one more lap though Maybe I don't. Maybe I... Hmm. I'm thinking about people crashing getting into the pits, though, because of how treacherous it is. Do it. Pitting in here. Pitting in. Almost hit me anywhere. 
clear high. Pit lane speed limit is oh. 45 miles per hour. That was pretty aggressive, but... Did you not hear him say he was pitting in? Good God. Pit box team, 10. Five. I even said it twice. Three. Two. You'll learn. Right here. <laughs> So I'm doing the under, uh, the undercut. Fifty-eight, fifty-three. All right, good to know. Okay, go. See if we can get off pit road properly. This is a pretty tough way to get off pit road as well. All right, so we're gonna be fast for a while. I'm trusting Nashville Super Speedway to do its thing and be very, very green. Your engine temperatures are now back to normal. Go well. Twenty-third place. Where are you going, man? First he looks like he's gonna go high, then he goes middle. Clear, okay, Dalton. Regaining on the car in front. The gap's now 18 seconds. Car outside. Still there, hold your own. Outside, clear. <laughs> This will this will get us a good chunk of time if this goes green. And track position is pretty good and pretty important because it is tough to pass. So Your water temperatures creeping up. All right, we'll see how it cycles out. See, now we're not racing side by side. 25 hitting this time around. Okay. Inside. Like we were at the start, so hopefully we can save tires a little bit better. That's the idea of pitting early, plus the undercut. As long as it stays green, then I think this will be very good for us. Quickest on track at the moment. I think I might have been the first one to come in. It's bold. It's an aggressive pit strategy, but Nashville Super Speedway has a good reputation for being clean, so I feel a little more confident in being able to make a decision like that. Watch out for other guys that are uh, going to be on fresh tires. We'll be around soon enough. Got on it a little hard there. Right, so we're past on track the people we are around already. So that's interesting. B13. Very interested in seeing how this cycles out. Take a look at the standings here in just a moment. Yeah. P12. You've just done a 31.2. 
So we came into the pits. What was it? P12. Let's see where we end up later. I don't know if I did a good job entry on entry or uh, on exit either. I'm not sure uh, how I compare to other people. Hopefully favorably. Soon enough we'll see uh, where the other guys we were around end up. Get a better idea of how we did. I don't know where the 10 or the 17 have been. I don't remember where they were on track. The gap in front is now 1.47. Fortunately, so can't tell much from that. Take it inside, 12. I do know that the guys are going that are going this long. Uh, that's not going to help them out unless they get it like a caution, I guess. Love this to go green though. Now you can do it, Nashville Super Speedway. You're good at that. Feel pretty good about how uh, not having to battle anyone for the first 15 laps, like I did at the first half of the race. I can run the line I want to, which I think will be better for the tires. Just now coming in all the way up there, huh? That's interesting. So I feel like that's going to hurt him. Is it 0 0.1? That was fine. Right on that pit window. Twenty-six is pitting in this time. Eight cars pitting. Six pitting. B12. Inside. Clear inside. That guy's pitting from the middle lane. These are going to be spots, probably, if I had to guess, because they've been out so long. But keep it up, keep it up. Maybe they'll pass us again later. Already ahead of where we were before we pit. Like that. Mike, I'm pitting in right now. So we're gonna get some of these guys that are pitting late flying past us, I imagine. You're in the top there, just done a ninth now. Still want to just get that top 10 if possible. Oh, wheel falling off the desk again. Actually beating some guys on pace, maybe. Oh, wait, this is the last guy. Never mind. There's Derek Justice just now. Uh oh. What do you do? Caution? Scared. No cuff. Oh, dude. She's not allowed. This guy behind us has much better tires, it looks like. He's gonna be flying past us. Bottom. You're in fear. Up time was 31.6. Car inside. Still inside. Clear. Thank you, thank you. Outside. Clear outside if you want it. Alright. Thank you. By the way, we're in fourth. <laughs> that's never gonna last. But that's pretty darn cool. Leader just now pitting, so everyone hadn't even pit yet. Interesting.
get there just as that's gonna catch up to us. Well, we're gonna fall back again. I don't have any illusions that I'm gonna finish in this spot, but still pretty happy with my decision there. And the car's feeling very nice. Maybe I'm a little concerned about the fuel. I'm going to keep checking it. Shouldn't be a problem, though. He's faster, but he wasn't close enough for me to just give up the entire corner. Clear inside. A couple spots we've given back, like I said, not unexpected. Hey, David. Yeah, what's going on, Rob? E5. Alright, 2.6 back to the next guy. We'll keep an eye on that. I'm sure that's going to be shrinking. We're going to have the oldest tires out here uh, of the guys I imagine that are like on the lead lap, for example. So we're just going to have to re remember that. But I'm hoping the tires will even out. And uh, this track position is going to be very, very nice. It's sitting in the top five right now, that's pretty cool. That five's catching us real quick. Just looked again, he's gained over a second already since I last looked, so he's gonna fly on past us. Pitting, 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 19 pitting. Still got guys pitting, huh? Interesting. Time was 31.9. That's good consistency. Keep it up. Two guys, two, two more guys coming up. B5. Car inside. Just ask them not to run me over. Clear. Car inside. Clear. So, next car back is a second and a half. Reminder, we were in 12th before coming in, so that's going to be my, uh, my test. See how I end up feeling about my decision. Back to 7th at this moment. Might end up right back where we were, who knows, but... It's alright. Even if that happens, we didn't lose anything. So the three is going to come past us. Someone coming out of the pits. They should pull away from us though if they have new tires.
I guess I shouldn't have uh, needed to worry about fuel because well, we're using less gas as the tires get tighter, or the car gets tighter anyway. So. Goes the three. The brakes early. It gives us the silent thank you. We need to battle alongside. If you don't mind me asking, what was everybody tired? My first run in this race. I was just looking to see how they compared. I'll throw that a little bit, maybe. Ours getting tight, but that's because we're on the oldest tires in the field. <laughs> We could talk after the race, but if you want. It's silent in here. No one's really talking. So we got the 7 1.8 back. I think they'll probably catch me before this one's over, but who knows? Maybe the tires will even out even more. But I think we're good past that 21. And if you remember, the 21 is the guy that had passed us at one point, wasn't he? I know we were around him, and I think he passed us, and now he's like six seconds back. And I feel like that I should be able to hold on to. So I'm thinking that was a big win for us to come in early, and uh, I think I was able to execute well enough. Lap time was okay, Colton. It's gained some time, so I'm feeling good about my top ten. Anytime I can bring a free bargain bin setup, it's not even a bargain, it's free. Bargain would be real cheap. Not even bargain bin setup, <laughs> just free. Anytime I can bring it and uh, compete against guys that are buying setups and selling setups, I can feel pretty good about that. Not that everyone's doing that either. I'm sure there's other people on three setups probably beating me right now, but you know there's some guys that have their teams and stuff, like some of the pro guys that are in here. <laughs> They've uh, got lots of resources. So can't feel too bad falling behind them. Uh never mind on oh, no. oh wait, no, that's a seven. Okay. Got confused there for a second. But yeah, we got the uh, seven coming up on us. Like I said, they were gonna come past us, definitely. That was not under question. So they're gonna come past us. The car inside. Stay high to the car on the low side. That thing again Clear. by an entry. Off. Uh, I a little hard because I was trying to match his speed. But I can't do that. My tires are older. Oh, something happened to the 21. They were the one that was in 10th. Now, not so much. Interesting. So the seven's clearly much faster, but not quite as dramatic as some of the other guys, so maybe the tires are evening out a little bit. Fifteen's a good six seconds back still, and we have fourteen laps to go. I think we should be able to hold on for a P9 finish, but we will see. I still gotta hit these laps and not hit any walls either, <laughs> so gotta keep that in mind as well. Did a slide there. Almost slid right up into the wall. What happened to the 21? Good consistency. Keep it coming. Wish I had messed around with shifting. It's definitely when it's bogged down here. Making me wonder. It is still pretty loose on exit a lot of the time though, so I don't know if it's really necessary. Maybe. But 
I don't think I'm missing out on too much. Just gotta hit my marks, not try to do anything fancy. Yeah, they're gaining, but not very fast. Behind us. Eleven to go. Saying we need 0 0.2 gallons to make it, but that's because uh, I tell the uh, crew chief to give me an extra lap of fuel to be conservative with the estimates, so we are fine, fine, fine. 11, 11 laps of fuel, essentially, and we've got 10 laps to go. So, we're fine. And if we weren't fine, I would just be a little bit safer with the fuel for a little bit. And even if we ran out of fuel at a turn four or something, just coast it to the end, so not a problem. Very fun race, though. Look at this. Not a single caution yet. Not sure we're even going to get it, but don't... Uh, don't count anything. Bye, right. later. Always such great racing here. That's why it is very much beloved by many. I'm sure just about any race you watch someone do on YouTube, someone's like, we're at Nashville Super Speedway. Very good track. It's probably like the first thing they say. <laughs> Something along those lines. There's a reason. time was that? 32.3. They're about five seconds behind, but they are running out of time to catch me. And it looks like they're fighting a little bit, which is not going to help them in their cause if they want to catch up to me. So, just, uh, just keep this thing green, please. Don't ruin this great race, anyone out there. Because I don't have very fast short run speed either. So that would be... Not good. It was cool being uh, up there in the top five for a little bit, though. We got to get a taste of what it's like to be all the way up there. Still gonna get ourselves a top 10 though, if things go according to plan, which I'm so happy with. It's all I really wanted. And six car, so blah blah blah, supposed to finish sixth, but not always the case. We've got different setups in here and all that. Plus I kinda get my I rating by being consistent. I don't like win every race or anything. Like, just uh Try to get those top tens, top fives, set those goals. Try to reach them. Get a little bit at a time. And then lose a hundred whenever I lose internet connection or something. <laughs> so, just bringing it home now. You heard the guy say, got five to go. But it's more like four to go now as we approach. Okay. Five laps of fuel, so we are a okay there. You got about four laps of fuel left. Feeling good. It's almost starting to feel a little bit looser, maybe. Yeah, it's kind of like shifting on me to a little bit loose, but not a problem. Actually, more fun to drive that way. That's good consistency. Keep it up. You've got two laps to go. 
Leader's getting two to go. Still have half a track to go. The gap ahead is now 3.8 seconds. Two laps left. Only two laps of fuel left. Last lap. All right, so they are on the white flag. We will not have to worry about a late caution ruining this thing. You got about two laps of fuel left. Counter steer a little bit as it gets loose and take a gander at that oh, white flag. <laughs> or sorry, take an Xfinity at that white flag. This isn't the gander. Outdoor tracers. Go away, Parker. Go away, boys. Hey, let me finish first before you start talking about good race. Go away, Parker. You have about one lap of fuel left. All right, bringing it home. Top ten. Mission accomplished. All right. Chicken flag, chicken flag. Great job. You did really well. Sure, we uh, slow down. Don't rear end anyone by accident as they're pulling over. <laughs> okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. So very happy with my pit strategy. Took us from twelfth to ninth. Whether that was the undercut or right there. the execution of entering and exit, or a little bit of both, not sure. But we move forward from our starting spot to capture that top 10. Um, handful of guys that I knew from the start were going to beat us. Obviously, beat us. <laughs> but uh, well, I, wonder how, I wonder what happened to the two. That's interesting. But uh, we'll find out when we look at the incidents here in a moment. We had 50-49 on the tires, so much better handling of the tires the second half of the race. That's exactly why I wanted to do an undercut, because early on I had to race side by side. Second half of the race I didn't, so that means I was able to hit the marks I needed to hit a little bit better. So I think uh, I'm very happy with how the, the plan worked out there. Very happy with that. So. That is allowed for some reason, so we're going to do that, gonna do a little bit of this, we're going to see what happened out here. I'll tell you what, caution didn't happen, so nothing too big, presumably. That was catastrophic. See how hard he hit that wall? I was wrong. Millions are dead. Oh, let's get it. Tiny taps of the wall. Ooh. Well, 19 gets loose and the 13 decides not to check up for him. Kind of see him getting loose there and just, just does not check up. And then the 11, holy cow. They uh, decide they want to stay in it. Oh no, they, that's not what happens. They. Uh, they looked like they were going to try to just like thread the needle, go around them, and then they realized they weren't going to be able to sneak around there. So then they had to do like a quick pull to the right, and not a good idea to turn right when you're in a left-hand corner. That's a heavy hit, too. That's some serious damage. 16. Catastrophic wall hit while racing in front of me. Five. Remember him passing me at some point. I get lots of wall hits apparently. These aren't even real wall hits either. Lots of tiny hits. Oh wow. That's what happened to the number two. They blew their engine. Too aggressive on the tape. Wow. Look at that. That's crazy. So, 
I guess they probably pushed it on tape early for early in the race. And they just stuck behind this guy too long, probably, and it overheated the, the engine. Look, they were behind him for a while, not getting any clean air. Maybe they didn't notice. Maybe they thought it would be okay. It was not. It went pop. That stinks. They do what they need to do, and I'm very thankful to them that they pulled off to a place where uh, they weren't going to bring out a caution by not moving anymore. Wow. Very interesting. Number seven. They ended up finishing right ahead of us, so they had a less than stellar pit site, presumably. Who knows what happened, though? Dean hits the wall. That's an actual wall hit. That's nothing. That's just being incredibly precise. Past some of these wall hits that looked like a decent one, though. This is probably just being incredibly precise. Yes, it is. That guy is pretty good, if you didn't know. Here we go. Too good for the game. <laughs> Getting so close to the wall every time. That's an interesting one. I guess that was just a miscalculation that 19 was trying to file in and uh, they weren't clear yet. So they go on for a ride here. This is going to be scary. Whoa. Good thing there was no one right there or a big pack coming or anything. That could have been worse. That could have been a caution. Even at Nashville Super Speedway, could have happened. Looking like more nothing at the moment. I think it turned into the wall there. That was interesting. So I'm, I kind of want to look. So this is lap 31. This is pretty well into the race. This is not too long until green flag pit stops. I want to see where some of the other guys around me ended up. So I go from P12 to P9. The 13 goes from 13 to 12. So they moved up one spot. The number 15 goes from 11th to 11th. So we overtook them, but they held steady. You've got the 21. They really had a tough time. I don't know what happened to them, but they fell back. They go from 10th, around 10th to uh, 13th. All right, this is interesting to me. I hope it's interesting to you as well. Uh, the 16, we were right around. They... Must have sped and then gave up or something. Something happened to the 16. Maybe we'll see it. That stinks for them. Uh, and then, uh, what else we got? Not that much. All these guys still finished up, up front. So let's continue with the incidents. Thank you for uh, humoring me as I just took a look. See how we did compared to guys around us. And it looked pretty good to me. So... Back to your regularly scheduled wall hits. Two laps in a row, apparently, in there. Ooh, that's a harder hit, though. And I don't even know if that was the two laps in a row or just the same guy, repetitively. Not sure why we're seeing this. Maybe tires hitting a certain point. Wall on entry. Nothing. I'm gonna skip a little bit faster through some of these. At this point, I have pit, I believe. I think actually I'm pitting this lap. Oh, I didn't even see that happen. Wow, okay. Yeah, so I made it clear. I said it twice, and I said it plenty of time ahead. I said pitting in here, pitting in here, like pitting now, pitting now. So they should know. I mean, I don't know, man. I maybe I know some guys don't have their radios on, but you gotta expect around this time guys might be coming in. I don't know. I don't know if there's maybe something else I could have done. It's not like I can put my left hand out the window, you know. So 
Well, I'm glad he didn't run into me there. But uh, that's what happened to the 16. That stinks. I hate that that happened. You know, kind of kind of because of me, but I mean, I did everything I needed to do there. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I need to, I don't know, maybe I need to set up like text in case people aren't listening. And so they can see it in text chat, but then again, some people don't put text chat on either. So, I mean, there's only so much I can do. I mean, at the end of the day, like, I think this is the guy that was like, didn't you hear him say I was pitting? I mean, at the end of the day, he's going too wide knowing that I'm going to be pitting there. So I guess, I don't know, 16 just runs at the back of him though. I'm guessing maybe he didn't have audio on or something, or not paying attention. I don't know. He, it looks like he doesn't react at all. I don't know. That stinks. I hate that that happened, but I don't feel like I did anything wrong. Hmm. Since we're here, I'm just going to look at my pit entry. As good as I could hope for. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got a little bit sideways hitting the brakes, but maximized my uh, entry. Seemed to work out okay. 18's tight, looks like. Uh, menu laps down. A bit of wall on entry. Plenty of guys going long. Well, not really long. They're about halfway. I just came in early. Just gonna be skipping ahead. That was that did not turn at all. Holy cow. That's not good. I'm going through a little quicker. Guy on new tires approaching. Guy who's in the lead. And the guy who eventually wins as well. Hmm, not much to say, but that's what's so great about Na uh, Nashville Super Speedway. Go, continue going faster. 16 blows his engine because of that front end damage. I thought that might be the case when I saw him still going. Because he, uh, at some point, was not going anymore. Judging by how many laps down he ended up. So that sucks. Again, I hate that that happened in relation to what I did, but... I feel like I did everything I needed to do. You know, I even uh, even repeated myself. Well, yeah, let's uh, let's see. This guy's the number three car, pretty good. Let's see how his pit entry looks compared to me. He gets pretty sideways. Yeah, it's pretty similar. It looked a little bit less stable. Maybe he was in there a little bit faster because of that, but... I think my undercut helped me most of all. Because the uh, fall-off was pretty bad. And as we saw with my eventual tires, I uh, think I handled them better the second half of the race. see how uh, number one does it. Ooh, he really slams on the brakes. I feel a little less bad about the way I pulled to the left, because apparently that's just the way to do it. In fact, I could have gone a little harder. <laughs> but I'm not risking getting a uh, speeding penalty. I push it somewhat hard, but I don't need to take more than I'm able to get. 
Didn't really see the 25 at all. Didn't even need to. So they didn't even really hit the ball. Alright, already. We know he's maximizing his corner. Guy maximized his corner just a little bit too much there. Hmm, that's wall in a tree. That's going to mess up the whole corner. There's a the guy that got blasted from behind before. That's why his rear end looks that way. Ooh, that car was not turning. Ups down guy. These are just some wall hits. Everyone's super spread out at this point in the race, so this is all just going to be wall hits, I think. I don't think we're going to see anything else. Because it's such a clean race. 15, they made it. Well, hit the wall there, but they made it to the end. It's my tire hitting 50% on the last lap. Right there. So I feel like I've pretty much proven my theory that uh, these random incidents that aren't incidents show up because your tire hits 50% or lower. It might have been showing the right rear that was at 49, I don't know. But uh, that'll be it. All right, we got ourselves the top 10. That's what I was looking for. Moved forward from our starting spot. I feel like uh played the strategy well. Um, probably would have been better to... I don't know, just run better in the first half of the race. <laughs> but uh, I'm okay with that. Uh, had our ni ourselves a nice clean race and uh, accomplished everything I was hoping to accomplish. And I got ourselves a zero X on top of everything else. So, all right. Hope you enjoyed some green flag racing at Nashville Super Speedway. They go in hand in hand. I uh, hope you have a good rest of your day. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.